Are you looking to sell a house that has some negative issues to deal with, such as backing a parkway on a busy W line road at a traffic light or next to a shopping center? Listen to this quick tip. I was at a home that backed the Northern State Parkway here on Long Island, and it was actually right by the ramp of the Northern State Parkway. So you had the ramp, you had a traffic light at the corner, and you had the parkway noise, and actually it was the back of the house that faced the parkway, the part of the house where you spend your time. So the person was trying to get a number for their house. They were trying to sell it on MLS through a realtor, and they couldn't sell it. And they called me up to see if I'd buy it. I came with a number that was disappointing to them. Kind of ironic because they weren't getting the number from a retail buyer. And they, I think, were asking 600000 They were getting numbers much lower than that from retail buyers, but they were expecting a higher number from a cash buyer. It doesn't make sense. The house was in less than average condition, which didn't help. But you have to understand the impact of backing a parkway or the expressway. Those are really negatives, especially when it's the backyard. Again, those, as I said at the beginning, backing major roads, fronting major roads, not being in a neighborhood, being next to industrial. I had a house. It was the only residential house in an industrial area. Factory, 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 house, factory, factory, factory. And they were just pricing that house as though it was a neighborhood two blocks away. It's not the same. And as a homeowner, you have to understand when you bought the house, you probably got it at a discount because of its location. Now that you're selling it, you have to understand you're selling it at a discount. The problem is you may have bought it in 1955 for $25,000 instead of $28,000. And now here it is 2023 and it's worth $600,000, but it could be worth $800,000. Whatever those proportions are, I just threw out numbers, they may be the same, but the numbers are just so much bigger. So just be aware you have to be reasonable and, and have logical expectations. And the way to do that is think, what would you be willing to do? Now you were the one of the people that was willing to buy it in the first place. But would you be willing to do it again and realize it's a supply and demand. There's a lot of houses available on Long Island and there's a lot of buyers, but there's only so many buyers that are willing to buy a house with those negative attributes. So therefore you have a small buying pool and a large population of houses. So it's it's not a good position to be in. Again, just change your expectations and understand the buyer's thinking.